When the Creator created the world, He divided between the highest water, the Maim Elyonim, the divine water, the godliness itself, to the water that are below. And to those water He called, the water that went down, those are our souls, He called them crying water. They are feminine water. Maim Bukhin. And they're crying. All day long they're crying. Our souls are crying and crying and crying and crying. 24-7 we're crying. We cannot rest. The sorrow that we feel on being divided from the root of our soul, from, from, from infinity, is something that cannot be healed. To understand that, it's impossible. It's something that we cannot. The only thing that we can do is to try to work it out, to make peace. To make shalom bayit, to make peace, to bring love into the houses, to bring love into relationships, to bring love into your life. In every situation of your life, you just need to bring love into your life. You need to love all of the creations of the Creator. You need to love all of the rules and all of the obligations. Even if you cannot understand them, even if you don't find the power to keep them, you need to love them. You need even to love the rebuke. To, to, to love that, that's the effort. That's the work. That's the burden. That's our mission. Yes, to love. To bring Hashem Itbarach into the picture, it means to love. To love, it's not to, to illustrate hearts and to, yes, I love you, to, to, to like your, your Facebook friends. To love, it's to bring Hashem Itbarach into your life. It's really to love. It's to have faith to complete your faith, to know it's from Hashem. And I cannot explain, I cannot answer my deep questions yet. We're on a mission to understand the truth. We're all desiring to know the truth. We're here to learn, we're here to hear, we're here to listen, we're here to, to, to accept. When we're going to accomplish that, when we're going to see the complete picture, that is, that's Redemption Day, that's Salvation Day. Until then, what can we do? To make it clear, to know there are dividings in this world and we need to heal them. There is the world that is betraying us. There is a horrible, horrific separation between Father in Heaven to our souls. We cannot forgive on that. We cannot forget that. We cannot uh, uh, accept it. We, it's, like, it's like we want to puke. We want to die. We want to kill ourselves. It's like, what are you talking? How can it be? That I'm praying for that poor girl to be healed and she's still sick in, in the hospital. No, no, we just, you, you want to scream. You, nothing will heal you until she will be healed, until Hashem will reveal Himself. Nothing can, can, can give you hope and accept of, 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 of the answer, of the salvation itself. No matter what you're going to see, oh yeah, I see hints, oh yeah, I see supervision, oh yeah, I see... It's nothing compared to the loss. It's nothing compared to the pain. How Hashem going to revenge the Nazis on the Holocaust? Oh, so He going to kill them all? And then is it going to answer all of the tears and all of the lost and all of the, the millions of people that have been slaughtered, being innocent? How can it answer? So Hashem going to revenge and going to erase all of the seed of the Amalekites. And, and then... What is it going to answer to me? Will I all have my, my grandparents back? Will, 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 will it erase all of the years of, of nightmares of the Holocaust survivors? It's going gonna, it's gonna to erase the, the, the screams into the nights of all of those children that lost their parents and parents that lost their children. Like, there's no connection between the revenge to the sorrow. So where is the answer? The answer is to work. The answer is to understand that we cannot understand the whole picture and we need to wait and we need to put our effort on loving and hoping and praying and bringing redemption to, Hashem, to the world. Redemption to Hashem. We're waiting for the salvation and for the redemption of Hashem. For the salvation of Hashem. Hashem. For your salvation. How can it be that a father, father of mercy, will treat his children like that God is treating us for so many years? And you want to go and say, no, father is good, what are you talking about? Okay. I don't mind. 
You can say it. I can't see it. I can't feel it. I can see that it exists. I can feel that it exists. To tell you that I've been answered, that I see that that girl is out of hospital, I don't see that. I saw too many people that lost their children. I, saw, I heard too many stories on the houses that, that, that separated in the end. That, that so too many people that had been kicked out from the houses to understand that Father of Mercy. No, I, I don't see that he is able yet to express his mercy, to reveal his kindness. I can't see it happening yet. So something is wrong. We're in kingship of heaven. So what can we do? We need to fix kingship of heaven. How? As much as we can. To make those combinations. To bring Hashem Yitbarach into our lives. That's how you make Yichud Kud Shabrichu Ushchinte. And then in every path, in every situation, in every moment of your life, bring Hashem into the picture. That's love. That's the only way that we can fix the duality that we have in our life. The radical difference between how much that we're suffering to how great and wonderful it can become.